Every day I get on to Polk County and check the inmates to see if his name's on there. For 10 months, Kaylee Smith has been checking to see if the man accused of killing her mother is behind bars. Monday morning, she finally spotted Quintonio Heron's mugshot. I was excited, to be honest. I was glad he's finally going to have to face, you know, his repercussions of what he's done. Des Moines police say Heron was speeding last May when he hit three motorcyclists at East 14th in Washington before leaving the scene. Christy Hyde and her boyfriend Jerry Coles both died. Cole's sister is the sole survivor. KCCI talked with her two weeks after the crash. What would he do if someone did this to his family? Police arrested Heron three days after the crash, but he bonded out of jail, disappeared, and stopped showing up for his court dates. This pushed back the trial, prolonging the agony for Hyde's grieving daughters. We're still dragging on and trying to explain to our kids what happened and deal with that emotion and just trying to heal and we can't. Court records show West Des Moines police arrested Heron after finding him drunk near his vehicle Monday. Open alcohol bottles were found inside the car. Hyde's daughters call him heartless. The actions you've shown throughout this whole thing just prove what kind of person you are. For 10 months, they waited for an arrest, all while celebrating milestones without their mother. She passed the day before I graduated nursing school. She's not going to be there for weddings. She's not going to be there for our children. She's not. There's a lot that we really needed her for. Hello. Hyde's newest grandson was born on her birthday, a small silver lining in a painful period of time. She was the sweetest person, full, so much full of life, and he's really taken that away from so many people. And Heron is in the Polk County Jail with no bond. He's also facing new charges like assault, public intoxication, and providing a false ID. Hyde's daughters say they hope he never gets out again. Rhea.